<laughs> we are in for a treat. Fried cheese is uh, great comfort food, especially on a day like this, Jess. I need comfort after that conversation. <laughs> Today, Williamsburg-based chef Scott Hoyland is here to create some ooey gooey goodness. He'll pair it with a fresh seasonal roasted acorn squash. Good morning. It's great to see you, Scott. Scott, how are you? Yeah. Good to see you. Us. Absolutely. This looks exciting, mm -hmm. but you know, my first go-to, fried cheese and acorn squash. Where on earth did you come up with this pair? Well, it's just a seasonal dish that we do, taking um, uh, full use of the farms that are available. Acorn squash in the fall and the winter are really good right now. Uh, the cheese is kind of, you know, everybody likes cheese. Yeah. So if you can do as many things with cheese, you're going to be successful mm -hmm. in the kitchen. So. Right. Um, so that's what we have here. Cool. Yeah. How do we start with this uh, acorn squash? Well, what we're going to do is we took the acorn squash and we just cut it into sections like this. Uh, we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Again, the cooking that we do nowadays, it's all very, very, very simple. Uh, you know, you don't want it to be too complex or, um, or anything because you take away from the flavors of the food. And Scott, I have to note here, you didn't take the, the guts out of there. We still have the seeds and the innards. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to use that uh, as they toast uh, to garnish our salad with, which is right here. Mm. Uh, so it's kind of like that pumpkin seed type thing. So, so I, see, waste not, want not. I see you're adding just... A little butter. <laughs> Just a little. It's Just good for your heart. Just a tiny bit, right? Yeah. yeah. It, you There's want... nothing wrong with butter. That's cool? Yeah. My kind okay. of chef. No, right. a little bit Just of salt. a little. A dash will do <laughs> you there. That's it. <laughs> Oh, it's good. no good without the butter. Right? Should we be looking for a particular type of condition for that um, acorn squash? Or? No, just just uh, just beautiful and uh, nice and firm. And nice and firm. Yeah. yeah. And with these, um, Scott, you know, a butternut squash is really tough to cut. You got to have a good sharp knife. Are these kind of in the same vein? Yes, it feels exactly. Like, yeah. So yeah, you have to be really careful and cut them on a towel so it doesn't slide away from you. Okay. Cut them on a towel. Smart yeah. move. I right. like it. So then we're going to take that. We're just going to put it mm -hmm. in our oven at three. 350 degrees. Alrighty. Um, when it comes out, we'll drizzle it with some maple syrup and then we'll be ready to serve it. Okie doke. Uh, from the Magic Oven, uh, you see they're all nicely roasted, a uh, little bit soft, uh, so you would let those cool down. Uh, then we take our little bit of our maple syrup. And then you've just quartered them. You, you did take the innards out now. They're, I did. They're already yeah. roasted. Set that aside. And again, that's the seeds right there. Um, then what we'll do is we're going to take our cheese. I'll scoot over here so yep. you can kind of get in the driver's seat Closer there. Closer to the fryer. That's right. And we're just doing a nice simple breading, a uh, little seasoned flour, a um, little egg wash, uh, right. just egg uh, with some salt and pepper in that. What uh, kind of cheese is this again? Uh, this is brada. Brana. Burrata. Burrata. Yeah. And it's just a very innocuous cheese, a little bit uh, similar to brie. The flavor is just super, super mild. That's funny. I thought that was closer to like mozzarella's cousin. It or, is. It is? It oh, is. okay. But just yeah. um, like mozzarella. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's what I thought you were going to. Why burrata? Just because that was your favorite flavor or does that fry up particularly well? No, it's just good because the inside gets really soft and creamy mm -hmm. uh, when you cook it. Um, uh, and that's just the reason. It, okay. it seems to suit well with the dish. So Yum. And this is agriculture. I'm sorry, Scott. How much prep work goes into something like this? What would you suggest for maybe a novice like myself? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes? Yes. You got this, Greg. Uh, I think quicker, you can do it. The quicker, the better. Again, you're, so? not, you're not adulterating the flavors um, that are offered in the dishes. So simple is the best, you see? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. It so, looks so beautiful, too. So we just, um, we're frying the cheese. Uh, when that gets a little bit uh, crispy on the outside, just barely cooked, uh, then we can use this one. Um, we'll just take our acorn squash. Um, we're going to sprinkle that with a little bit of the seeds. Mm -hmm. And now we'll give this a little maple syrup as well. Scott, did you uh, jazz up these seeds a little bit more? Is that still the same seasonings you were putting on earlier? Yes, the same seasoning. Oh, yeah. Can I just taste a little bit Absolutely. of those? Absolutely. And these are, um, I was going to say, pumpkin seeds. No, Jessica, they're acorn squash seeds. <laughs> Are you in heaven right now, Scott, mm -hmm. knowing that uh, with all of the fresh vegetables that are coming out this autumn? Oh, yeah, I love it. Uh, in Virginia, particularly in, in, a, in our area in Williamsburg, there are so many tremendous farms um, that we can just take advantage. It makes the chef's job very easy. Uh, between the microgreens that you'll see over here with the acorn squash, these are grown by a company here in Richmond uh, called Manica Town. Mm -hmm. uh, just about all the top chefs use their products, and they're just great. Um, and so 
Uh, with this one, if you noticed, I didn't put any dressing on the salad either because right. when you eat this all together, uh, that's going to make your dressing from the juice, from the acorn squash, and then the cheese melting. Uh, you can see, uh, I'm just going to turn it over just a touch. Oh, I can hear it happening, yes. And you can start to see the cheese coming out of there just a Just a, a hair, little bit. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it literally only takes seconds. Um, you'll see it'll blow up a little bit like this. Wow. Oh, yeah. And it okay. flattens a little bit too. Yeah. And then we're just going to put that right on top. Oh, well, that'll kind of wilt that lettuce. And so many layers of flavor, too. Sure, but, mm -hmm. all, but all very, very simple. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I just feel like that, that's the key to good cooking is just making it super simple. There's no mysteries in the kitchen. It's not like this terrifying place where chefs are creating things. You know, it's even when you go in Europe and in any of our restaurants in Williamsburg, it's all the simplicity that really makes a difference in the food. Was there a time, Scott, where you were away from that uh, way of thinking, where you had to uh, add, you, th you thought you had to add a lot of the flavor? Absolutely. To the food. When I was young growing up in the kitchen, I think one of the journalists wrote about me that I put the ingredients in a hat and pull out whatever <laughs> might go together. And I thought, wow, that's really great. Look yeah. how they're thinking about me. Now I think about it and go, my goodness, they must have thought I was such a hack back in the day. <laughs> but uh, it was really funny. But it really did shape the way the chef that I am now uh, because it let me uh, just find that simplicity and that natural flavor in food. And you were free and flexible to try what you felt would work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is really cool. I've never seen this before. Are these... These microgreens? These microgreens... Yes. Are there's a growing? gentleman. There's a gentleman that lives in Kings Mill, and he grows these microgreens for us. Uh, he comes um, every other day, and we water them in the little pads, and we trim them right onto the dishes oh, cool um, at Culture and at the Blue Towel. And all of our restaurants use use them. So this isn't necessarily for looks. This you can eat these. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that, those, that's a micro red cabbage. He grows for us a micro basil that the flavor mm. is so incredible because it's so small and intense. Mm -hmm. uh, micro arugula. You know, not everyone likes arugula. For me, it's my favorite salad. Oh, I love it. Love uh, arugula. And so, uh, well, speaking so of flavor, to finish this one, um, we're just going to put some more of our seeds on top, and okay. then and then that's kind of it. Just going so. right in. Do I eat the skin or just? Oh, no, well, take the okay, skin take away. The skin that's off. just okay. for aesthetics. That, ooey, Don't ooey, be crazy. Jesus had to come over. Oh right? man, oh man, do <laughs> it. Thank you so much, Scott. Scott. We really appreciate it, and uh, you're going to find this recipe by early this afternoon right on our show website at wtvr.com/vtm.